Yo, welcome back to another video. This video is um, a requested video from the Discord. So if you want to be able to send in requests on video ideas, um, join the Discord, and then you can have the um, have the chance of doing so. Um, all the links will be down below in the description, along with the uh, mentorship, which you get unlimited one-to-one -one calls whenever you request. Um, so as you can tell by the title of the video, obviously I'm going to be going over how I kind of do my drop down analysis and, you know, find my intention. Um, so what I tend to do is every single morning, you know, as you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you should understand and know that I only really trade London Open, right? So I only come on maybe seven o'clock, 6.30 in the morning, you know, and I'm kind of prepping for about half an hour and kind of then just, you know, waiting and watching the market, see if anything falls into place. Um, if there's nothing happening, you know, no opportunities of, you know, showing themselves by at least eight ten, then any opportunities after then I'll probably be risking half the risk because I only tend to risk 1% at actual open of London session. Um, so what I tend to do is I'm going to do this video quickly because my headphones don't have much charge left. However, um, not however, but you know what I'm saying, I want to just show you the exact things I do. So what I'm going to be looking at firstly is the hour, the four hour and the hour. So what I'm doing by that is just looking at where the market is right now. So as you can see here, if we were, you know, seeing price push up here, we know that there is um, <coughs> a voice break. We know that price is pushing up into this range, right? So after seeing price come up into this range, and showing some type of hesitation, our intention straight away would be if we can get that reversal or the uh, entry protocol, any any type of you know reaction, the first thing we're going to be doing is looking for sales, right? And just a quick way to find your take profits. If you're not looking to hold you know to the previous low, when you're just like me, you're trying to get in and out within you know 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, potentially an hour to max. The first thing I look at for is I'm using liquidity for my take profit. So what I'd be looking for straight away is where is the liquidity, right? So where is the liquidity? Liquidity is under and above every single low, right? So the first low is here, right? There's no liquidity inside here. There will be on the one minute and the five minute. We're going to see, you know, fallbacks and such. But if we're looking at the higher time frame, which is the stronger time frame, it's what the market is moving off of. We know that that's our first point of liquidity, right? So my take profit is going to be either this low or just beneath it if there is a valid zone, right? So obviously straight away we can see that there is some type of order block sat here. And if we go down now to the 15, all we're going to be looking for is an unmitigated order block. So unmitigated order block, I mean, is it can't be tapped. So this order block here is already tapped in and mitigated, hence why price didn't create a new low price here has already been tapped and mitigated so this range is invalid however down here we do have an order block so if i mark that out as our i'm not marking it as a demand because it's going to hold it it could potentially hold it i haven't looked at the bigger picture right now but in you know in terms of where i want to be looking for price to go this is going to be my first zone. So seeing price come down, I'm going to have high confidence that price is going to push down into this zone. Because if not, then we're potentially going to look for maybe a liquidity sweep of this high, still inside of the supply range somewhere up here, and then potentially see this low. Because we know that for price to continue up creating new highs, so for it to break above this high, we would need liquidity anyway. So that first point of liquidity on the one hour is this low. So this is a very very confident trade that I would have potentially taken. So now knowing that price is pushing into this zone, what we're going to be waiting for is that shift. So what we're going to be looking for is that break of structure. So if I highlight this whole range, right, this whole accumulation range, we can see that price breaks beneath it. So with that knowledge, we know that price is looking to turn around. So what we're going to be looking for is an entry. So what we're looking for is price to continue creating new lows. We've got a new low be created here. We've got a new low get created here and so on. So after the second break, this would give me enough confidence. And with our entry protocol, we need the direction, which we've now got. We need liquidity, which we're about to look for. And then we just need 
you know, the, the POI, the entry, right? So we have got here, what we got? So if I zoom in, we can see that we've got liquidity sitting here. So we need to see price push above this zone. We can see that we've got an order block here, which was already mitigated. Already mitigated, where's my supply? Already mitigated here, right? There's an order block here. Actually, if we zoom in, I'm not sure if that did get tapped. Yeah, so that did get tapped, right? So what we're gonna be looking for it's a bit of an aggressive entry and it's not something I usually teach on the YouTube, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. Um, it's a liquidity inducement entry, right? So because we've got the intention, we know that price is ready to continue to the downside because we've got enough liquidity. We've got liquidity there, look at there and there. So all we're going to be doing is looking for an entry after the sweep of that high because we know that it can't turn around inside of here because, you know, here, this order block here, we've got no liquidity, hence why price had a bit of reaction. However, because it didn't have the liquidity, we continued up. If it had liquidity here, we could have potentially looked for the sell down, right? So with that, we know that this order block can't hold, this order block can't hold. So any point above this zone, so stays in the range, so the range is from the high to the low, we want to see price push anywhere above this high. So anywhere in here, it could have turned around. So what we'd be looking for is the reaction. We've seen it just tap above, sweeping the liquidity. Don't always need to wait, but for now I'm just going to stick to it. We've got the shift here, and then after seeing price pull back into this range, if I mark this stuff as our range, pull back into our range, my entry would be anywhere in here. So let's just say I have it here, right? Stop loss would still have to be above the high, because that is still our rules. It always has to be above the high, the order block, the range, whatever. And then I'll take profit would have been all the way down here as we discussed so that is how i did my drop down analysis yes this was new york not london however i'm just showing you an example of how i'm trading right what i'm looking for what i wait for etc so this was a 22 and a half percent trade if you're you know you're trading a 100k funded account that's 22,000 in the space of three hours right uh, so you can get the gist of things I'm going to leave the video there because you know I keep them short and sweet. There's a couple of nuggets in there that you can take and study. Um, any rec video recommendations, obviously, jump in the Discord and put them in the group. Um, other than that, I'll see you boys in the next one.